how on earth are we expected to get anything done? How are we supposed to get painting done, games played and real life lived when the toys just keep landing on the doorstep? In this case, finally, hands on. Battletech, a game of armoured combat. The brand new spanking shiny box from Catalyst Games Labs. We have fought hard and long and won the battle to get some copies of this. And uh, hmm, it doesn't rattle quite as much as previous ones. It doesn't feel quite as heavy either. Um, spangly, it's shiny. It's got a lovely picture. Got stuff going on. Battletech, there are several people who so several people, sorry, I'm excited. There are several people who frequent the bunker who could talk to you much more uh, authoritatively about Battletech than I. Unfortunately, they don't really like being on camera. So you've got me, as ever, going blah about shiny stuff. So excuse me as I go, you know, it's a mech, it's a robot, it's a whatever. You'll know what it is if you're a fan and you don't care. You just want to see if you haven't got your hands on it already. Now, Catalyst, first wave, sold out. Hen's teeth. Second wave has hit the stores already. They have learnt their lessons in the past and kept making stuff. So, what's in the box, everybody? As ever, should be small pictures at some stage in this video starting to appear down there for you as I froth on. We have Eve Storm, a Colby's Commandos mission. Eve Storm by William H. Keith. This is, I think, a book snippet. It is. It is the snippet from a book. Lovely. Okay, yeah. And then you get a glossary. So 20 pages. Glossary at the end about some terms. And then pictures at the back of that as well. Tops, Catalyst Games Lab, under license. Yep, okay, it's just there. End of. We've got some cards. Don't know what they are. We have a sorting tray. We have a tray of thing. So, well that's obviously for those little cards that came with it. Though the bag that the dice are in is a fact that there's a recess for the couple of dice. We've got a place for those cards. We've got a place for many more cards. Or components. Because there's a sheet of components as well. We'll, we'll return to this. Okay. So this is cardboard section. It's in like 4 mil, 4 mil card I'd say. It appears to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So we've got our plastic mechs. Then we've got some cardboard standy up mechs. Double sided as well. I've just punched one out by mistake. And then we have some additional hex terrain going on here as well. We've got depth 1 and depth 2 river. We've got a level 1, level 2 hill, rough ground. A three hex hill, a couple more one hex hills, and possibly just different grass for texture. And then on the back of this, we've got sublevels and other pulls for the desert textured maps. That was kind of nice. Yeah, fairly chunky. So kind of technically twice as many mechs in the box. Plastic ones and carpet ones. Okay, cool. Um... Battletech, a game of armor combat rulebook, magazine, shiny glossy pages. Uh, I haven't had a chance to read this yet. Literally, this this came in the post this morning. Um, what what I'm kind of vaguely aware of, it's it's essentially the same game, tidy up, couple of refinements, and there's like a, a more accessible beginner's game where you don't worry about heat sinks and things like that. Whether that's in the beginner's box as opposed to this, because this seems to be straight into good old moves. Though, from rough recollection, that is that is kind of coming at it as here is what you've got. This is a thing. Breaking down the sheet. Sequence of play. Unequal numbers. Movement basics. Facing. Visually, it's, it's looking quite straightforward in that regard. Lines of sight and combat, walking you through everything. Arcs, 
starting to get a bit more technical. Depths of combat, ranges, hit locations, still combat, damage, locations, heat. So heat's way back here. Heat's bad. Lovely artwork. Some fantastic artwork going through this. Scenarios. Scenario one. Scenario one is final exam. So qualifying to fly your mech. Scenario two, trial by fire. Scenario three, divide and conquer. Oh, that's it. Yeah, three scenarios. Okay. Uh, construction, battle mech, basics, designing your own. Okay, cool. Weapons and equipment. Okay. Compact Bijou seems to be fairly straightforward. Walks you through visually whether the words will marry up. Hopefully so. And we got a primer and a little salute to a previous edition there with that artwork, which is again still lovely. Test of time. This is much more magazine quality. Um, universe overview, the eras, the inner sphere, what's going on there. Star League just tells you the, the different houses. Okay, so this is just, if you knew, knew nothing, uh, this is kind of arming you for that. And then other stuff that you can buy. The Succession Wars, Battletech Manual, Battletech Total Warfare, Battletech Alpha Strike, Mech Warriors, Role Playing, and then Oodles of Stuff. Oodles of Stuff. Because there's like so much history for Battletech. What we got here, right, these are our mech uh, battle sheets or record sheets. So these are the pre printed pre printed sheets for the mechs that come in the box game. Uh, double sided. Okay, so you'll want to photocopy these anyway. Um, so they're all included there. Gives you their names, the Wolverine. Uh, what have we got? The Catapult. Yeah, what mechs do you actually get? That would be a good point. So there's the Locust. There's the Commando. There's the Griffin. There's the Shadow Hawk, the Wolverine, Catapult. Can almost turn the page. Thunderbolt, Battlemaster, the awesome. It's awesome. And a blank one for a one of our Mac I want. So photocopy till the heart's content. Permission is granted to do so. Your quick reference sheet. Early players of Warhammer 40,000 might be familiar with the overall layout of this. And players of Battletech will be well familiar with it. Um, kick location table. Punch location table. Cluster hits. Attack modifiers. Head point hit. Physical attack modifiers. Not being a massive Battletech player, I, I can't sort of take a quick glance at this and say, dear, well, here are the fundamental differences between this and previous editions of Battletech. <laughs> I'm the guy you come to to go, it's shiny! <laughs> I like it! Take it away! Um, I will go to uh, a higher authority uh, later on when Brett and you and that appear and go, is it awesome? And I'll look at their little faces and the bigger their smile, the more awesome I'll know it is. I just feel it's kind of awesome. It feels... Because I had the previous uh, introductory box set with Max Doll. And I kind of remember opening it and being slightly overwhelmed with the amount of paperwork and maps and, and everything else. Kind of going, oh, I don't know what to do with this. This one feels much more like other products that I have lifted off the shelf. and going, oh, here we are. And there's my cards and there's where I'll put all these things. Just a little bit of organisation <laughs> makes you feel an awful lot more confident. Wrongly, possibly. And two big papery maps. Are they double sided two big papery maps? They are double sided two big papery maps. So we have big papery map one, grass, motorway, hills, desert, lake, mountains, valleys. They're not big maps, Andy. That's as big as you need for battle tech. Shut up. And this one is. Green with lots of mountains. Lots of mountains in that one. And desert with lots of mountains. Mountains good. Mountains are cover. Cool. There we go. Yeah. Um, froth. 
frostably done. Uh, well done, Catalyst. This looks impressive out of the box. It looks like a nice package. <coughs> Excuse me one moment. I'm fighting a little bit of a cold and a sore throat. Ooh, much better. Um, oh, we didn't look at see what these cards are. Let's see what these cards are. What's in the cards? What's in the cards? It's cards relating to the mechs, obviously. We've got Battlemaster. These are Alpha Strike cards. It's Battlemaster, Catapult, Wolverine, Shadowhawk, Griffin, Commander. Go Commando. Locust. And, the, and they're all double-sided. No, awesome battle master. No, they're different. They're different things because they've got different points values. Okay, cool. It's a thirty-two point Wolverine, six uh, M, and a Wolverine six R. So it's different ver or variations on them with different weapon loadouts. Okay, we've got character cards here. Um, Force Commander, Major Hobman, Corporal Jenna Campbell, Sergeant Anton the Rock. Uh, Gerard Carlyle, Captain. Okay, cool. Sweet. Special pilot abilities and whatnot showing up in those. Okay, that's cool. I don't remember getting those before. I maybe just don't remember getting those before. Possible. I don't remember getting those before. And don't remember getting those before um, and it's it's possible I did but I just don't remember okay so leave me alone on that um, but yes now being sensible looks like your space black well, that, that sits there that actually is supposed to sit there they've made that box to actually accommodate that little book that's a bit excessive making your your tray purposely include the little kind of throwaway book part thing Unless that's really important. Is it really important? Eight high quality miniatures. On painted. 56 page rule book. 16 page record sheet. 16 page universal primer. 24 page fiction novella. Well done. You, you made the sorting tray hold something that doesn't matter. Impressive. Uh, aftercare. Very good. Um, so yeah, I mean... You might think watching these videos that I'm easily impressed by lots of stuff. It's just that we only make the videos about things that generally tend to impress us and we can get excited about and enthusiastic because that's what matters. No point sitting here bitching about games that suck. Um, so yeah, it, it looks nice out of the box. You've seen some close-up picks. Yay. Um, go, go Catalyst Games Labs. Um, awesome. Now I just need to learn how to play it again because... I people who know more than me sit down and constantly reteach me because my head bad with numbers um but it's always been a lovely interesting immersive game with such a rich background uh, so now now is the time to strike out if battletech has not been your thing and find out this uh these came from zatu games thanks zatu games um because they came like where we've put them in the post <laughs> they're already here what's going on uh so kind of awesome um yeah um, you will pay various monies and as, as it starts to disappear you'll end up being asked to pay stupider monies so don't Zoddy Games was very reasonable uh, Thirsty Meeples uh, another good one Just Play was another one that we had looked at uh, for getting them so yeah hunt around look at little places don't just go to big names little places get stock too and they need your love and care and custom shop local shop often and if you can't shop local shop at someone else's local you know what I'm saying? Cool. Thanks for watching.